Hello, everybody. Today is Sunday evening. Um, I'm on my back porch in um, March, I'm sorry, March 15th of 2015. It's a nice evening. Um, it's nice. I'm out here smoking a cigarette. But I wanted to come um, and do this real quick because I made a part one on me and the women. And I think people thought it was supposed to be funny, but it was once they saw it, it wasn't a joke. It was truthful. I was being honest. Men, excuse me, don't play with women. Um, <clears throat> women don't play with men. I mean, it's the same thing. Uh, if the importance of humans' motions if, if they don't mean nothing to you, um, maybe this video is not for you. And if you think I'm just playing, um, that is serious, that... Um, you shouldn't be playing with one's emotions. Uh, maybe you can see me a little bit better. Um, it's sad. If you truly love somebody, uh, male or female, you know, I feel like you shouldn't play with people's feelings. Um, that's maybe just me, but I think the majority of people, you know, be sincere about it. Uh, and I know sometimes acts of kindness can, somebody can take it wrong. Well, I thought it meant something more. Okay. And if somebody's just being kind and they don't want a serious relationship, that's fine too. Um, there's nothing wrong with having a friend. Um, men are generally worse than women. I do know that. Um, um, men will try. Cause I'm a man, and I was the same way. I didn't know what love was about, and um, I didn't really care about that love. I just, if I liked a woman, wanted to be with her, that's all it was. But that was my younger days. Now, I'm older and I understand. Looks has really nothing to do with it, somewhat. But not that much like I did when I was 20 or 25. Um find a good friend you found something you found a diamond um, I don't know I just wanted to come back on this video and just let you get my in put my input on this um, a week ago Saturday uh, Sylvia which is my ex I don't like saying ex now I call her Sylvia because she's a human being she's got a name but I always refer X. Now she might do the same. D, the X. Okay. Um, she had got remarried. But I didn't know that. And she had called me Saturday a week ago. Around 8, 9 in the morning. Asked what I was doing. I said nothing. We talked for time. She said, I'll buy. You want to go out and have breakfast? I said, sure. Um, but I bought my own offered to pay for her, but um, I said, sure, I'll meet you at the Waffle House, and we went and had a nice time, uh, I had seen her about a month ago, and um, she looked good, got my wife, well, my ex, beautiful woman, beautiful woman, now she's, she was 41, and I was 28, so I'm 50, well, I'm not going to say, oh, she still looks good, so here I am, I meet her at the Waffle House. Now, mind you, she's older. Now, th this has been about since the last time I had really been with her. Uh, I want to say in 92, 93. 93. I had talked to her on the phone, but I'm talking about actually all of her. And people, this is where you have to use good, have a good heart, okay, because I hadn't seen her, she's married, but I didn't know that at the time, but she told me while we're sitting there, she has one of this perfume that she knew I liked, she had this outfit on, a little jean skirt, nice blouse, just like she was when I, when I was up, smelled good, and I was like, oh god, no, no, I can't eat the perfume, but she didn't send me like, and she told me she was married and she was just coming down here to see her dad. Well, we were eating. I knew she kept looking at me and 
I can eat. I got something on my mustache or something, right? Maybe she needs some help or some advice. That would be unusual, though. We were talking about the weather. She looked me. I mean, to my eyes. She said, you got some sexy eyes. I love it from your eyes. Like, she had just told me she was married. So thank you. And then I get nervous. And this is an ex. I have done everything with her. But when she told me she's remarried, people, I respect that. And she said, I, I know that look in your eyes. Pardon? I know that look in your eyes. I know what you want to do, don't you? And I remember I was fixing to eat a spoonful of grits, and I put I said, Sylvia, you're a beautiful woman. That outfit looks good on you. I said, I'm enjoying this. Yes, I probably do, but I'm not. I said, why? The marriage you just told me. He would never lie. I said, uh, truth, but I, I said, I can't. I said, I care for you, and I really do love you. I'm not going to do that. I said, let's not kill this. I said, we got to the place, now we talk. And she agreed. The old me, the 25-year-old, 30-year-old, and 35, oh, let's eat, hurry, go. The older me, I can't do that. That's wrong. So, especially if I want her to be a friend, true friend. That's what, you, what I'm talking about, people. That's what I'm talking about. And it's not easy. It's not easy when you do do that, trust me. Because if it was easy, well, what a, it's not easy. But that's where you got to get the priority set, especially men, you know. Uh, I don't believe in playing around. Um, I don't know, maybe that's just me. Always been that way. Um, and she asked, could she, could we have breakfast again? I told her, I think about it. I said, but here's the thing. Can you bring your husband? Because when I was married to you, I was a jealous man. I would not like that. So, but anyway, let me know your thought on it. I'm sorry I'm smoking, but it's dark out here. I'm drinking up, up, uh, up under the light, and it's blinding the crap out of my eyeballs. Okay. Um, let me know. Is that being truthful when a friend is saying no? Or how would you react? Okay, my situation, I was married to her. I was, but I ain't now. So, I thought I'd let you know. So, let me know. Talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.